Hey everyone, it's Heidi and welcome to today's episode of Baby Name Sunday. Today's list, oh my goodness, we're doing an ultra long list of 100 modern yet bold names for 2021. Yes, these are gonna be unique, one of a kind names and I did get some help from my peeps over on Instagram. Thank you guys so much. You guys will see up above who kind of submitted them and then there was a ton also submitted by myself. Now, a lot of these are named singles, named combos. We have it all. But before I get into the list, if you guys haven't already subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button down below and also hit that bell notification so you guys don't miss any of my future name lists. I'm always posting on here and also on my Instagram. So go over there and check me out it's at Baby Name Sunday as well. I'll have it all in the description. Now, without further talking, let's get into this speed round list of 100 modern yet bold names for 2021 and beyond. Starting off the list here, I have the name Farrick, spelled F-E-R-R-I-C. K. Farrick. It's an Irish and French surname meaning son of the little rock. Then we have the name Ivory spelled I-V-R-Y. Ivory. You can also do I-V-R-I. I think that would be just so modern. Definitely futuristic. And this one's derived from the word name Ivory meaning pure. Number three on the list I have the name Arkham spelled A-R-K-H-A-M. Arkham. Honestly, I am so obsessed and it's a fictional city in Massachusetts. Next up is the name Quest spelled Q-U-E-S-T, quest. And this one means a journey with a purpose. A popular nature name is the name Sky. So maybe an alternative is the name Sky, spelled S-K-I-E-S. Guys, I'm loving the S ending nature names recently. It's kind of making those more common ones a little bit more unique. Skies. Then next is the name Steel, spelled S-T-E-E-L-E, -E -E, Steel. You can have the E if you want, but this one is a powerful metal. Moving on to a German inspired girl's name. It's the name Tilly, spelled T-I-L-L-Y. Now this one has a very powerful meaning, meaning battle mighty. Now for our very first name combo. I have the name Zender Flow, spelled X. X-E-N-D-E-R, Zender, and then Flow, F-L-O-W, Zender Flow. This one's a Greek variant, and together it means flowing, defending man. Next is the name Rise, spelled R-I-S-E. I think this is such an amazing word name. It just brings up this happy, cherry, like rise, like rising of the sun, rising of the moon. I don't know, it has this really positive energy about it. Then for a Z name on the list, I have the name Ziggy, spelled Z-I-G-G-Y, Ziggy. This is one of my favorite, like, like cool, kind of spunky name, and it's German originated, meaning victorious protector. Celestial name on the list here is the name Estella. So A-S-T-E-L-L-A, -L -L -A, nickname Stella, and this one has Latin origins, meaning star. Keeping up with the celestial girl names, this next one here is a name combo I created, and that's the name Luna Stardust. L-U-N-A for Luna and then Stardust. S-T-A-R-D-U-S-T. -S Luna Stardust. This one's a dreamy celestial combo, meaning moon in the stardust. Then for another place name here, I have the name Bronx, spelled B-R-O-N-X, Bronx. Super cool, very edgy with that X ending, and this one's inspired by the place in New York City. Next up on the list, I have the name Aja, spelled A-J-A, -A, Aja. Now this one's actually a name inspired by a 70s jazz rock band named Steely Dan, and it's also a Hindi originated name meaning goat. Another nature name on the list here is the name Horizon, spelled H-O-R-I-Z-O-N, Horizon. And this one means the line where the earth meets the sky. Then for another rugged name like Steel, I have the name Slate, spelled S-L-A-T-E, Slate. Now this one's a great color name, but it's also the name of a rock. Then we have the name Echo, spelled E-C-H-O, Echo. This is a gorgeous Greek mythological nymph name, meaning reflected sound. Then we have the name Striker, spelled S-T-R-Y-K-E-R, -E or you can do S-T-R-I, whichever or I really like the Y and this one means armored vehicle. Number 19 on the list is the name Ozias or Osias, O-Z-I-A-S or with an S and this one's Greek originated meaning salvation. Next up is the name Banksia, spelled B-A-N-K-S-I-A. -A. Now this one a little bit different than Banks, Banks is kind of like a river bank but Banksia is actually a unique Australian plant name meaning evergreen shrub. All right switching it up here I have quite a few options 
options here that kind of all relatively meet along the same lines. So you know how the name Wild or Wilder, they've just been populating. So I have the name Adventure or Adventurer and I have the name Explorer, which I thought were such great word names, still falling into that same category, but a couple different options, meaning Wanderer. Then as for a girl's name combo that falls along the same lines, I have the name Wilderline Bloom, W-I-L-D-E-R-L-I-N-E, -E, and then Bloom, B-L-O-O-M. I actually uploaded this onto Instagram and lots of you guys were loving it. And this one's actually an invented name with some nature elements obviously in it, meaning blooming to be wild and free, Wilderline Bloom. So just like skies with that plural S, I have the name Oceans, spelled O-C-E-A-N-S oceans. I thought this gave a really unique and different feel than ocean. Oceans, kind of like vast and that bold wow factor. Next up on the list, I have the name Rowie, spelled R-O-W-I-E. I think this is so cute and a great alternative to Bowie, which is a little bit up and coming, and it is a modern take on that Scottish name Bowie, meaning blonde. Another mythological name here, I have the name Thor, spelled T-H-O-R, Thor. For a girl, you could do Thora, it has a little bit of a vintage feel and this one's the Norse mythological god of thunder and storms. Moving on to our next name here, I have the name Friday. So F-R-I-D-A-Y, Friday. Today's Friday I'm filming this so I thought it was just only made sense. And this one's a rare day of the week name but it actually has a little bit of significance from the goddess Venus and also quite a bit of different meanings in a bunch of different origins. I have the name Solo, spelled S-O-L-O. -O. I thought this was kind of like a cool peppy name meaning on your own. Then for another S name on the list, I have the name Shadow, spelled S-H-A-D-O-W, Shadow. I love this for a boy shadow. I think it has this little dreamy and mysterious feel to it. Then for a double barrel or just a name combo, I have the name Reggie Rome, R-E-G-G-I-E -G -G -E and Rome, R-O-M-E, Reggie Rome. I'm loving the double first initials here, meaning council power of Rome. All right, switching it up here, another weather inspired name here is the name Stormy, spelled S-T-O-R-M-Y. I love this. This. We actually really contemplated this for Zayla. Then next on the boy side more so, I have the name Blizzard, spelled B-L-I-Z-Z-A-R-D, Blizzard. Now Davian actually added this to the list. He is a big Travis Scott fan and he thought, hey, sibling to Stormy, maybe Blizzard, nickname Izzy. So I have the name Rebel, spelled R-E-B-E-L, Rebel. And this is kind of like a girl power sort of name. It has that really kind of feminist, like let's go for it kind of vibe. And it means rising up against power. A gemstone name I have for you guys. This is honestly my favorite name ever. If I want to change and have a middle name, I actually would give this myself my own middle name. It's the name Sapphire. It's spelled S-A-P-P-H-I-R-E. Sapphire. Guys, tell me, should I make this my middle name? I don't have a middle name. Heidi Sapphire. I think that would be just so cool. So it's a blue gemstone symbolizing wisdom, virtue, good fortune, and holiness. All right, sun is setting. This is like a gorgeous tone here. A little bit red, it's okay guys. <laughs> Next up on the list, we have the name Tempest, spelled T-E-M-P-E-S-T. -E -E this is perfect, talking about the weather. So this is a total underused weather name. I thought it really kind of plays off that stormy blizzard. Tempest, really cool feel, and it means turbulent or stormy. Then for a Z name on the list, I have the name Zona, spelled Z-O-N-A, Zona. A little bit more shorter, edgier and this one's actually a celestial name this is totally new to me it's a celestial name of the stars that make up the constellation orion then we have the name apollo spelled a-p-o-l-l-o -L -L -O, apollo <gasps> such a handsome greek god name of medicine music and poetry okay switching it up here this one i have a boy combo and a girl combo really it could go for either or so i have the name onyx odair o-n-y-x O-D-A-I-R for Odair. And then for a girl, I have Onyx Rose, R-O-S-E. Love these two. Onyx lately has been falling onto both boys and girls charts. It's totally a completely unisex, genderless name. I think this is really cool with those middle names. Odair actually has African roots, meaning gorgeous. So it's almost like gorgeous black gemstone and roses are just absolutely stunning. So it's like gemstone of a rose. Moving on to a little bit of a comic book inspiration. I have the name Rogue 
spelled R-O-G-U-E. Now in the Marvel comics, this is a girl superhero. I love this name, honestly, I think it's so cool. And it means running wild. Then we have the name Dreamer, spelled D-R-E-A-M-E-R, -E -E Dreamer. Like how just, <gasps> in the clouds, it gives me this lost in the stars, lost in a daze kind of feel. Keeping up with that feeling, I have the name Wonder, spelled W-O-N-D-E-R, Wonder. And this one means to ponder or to be curious. Now for a surname inspired name, I have the name Saxon, spelled S-A-X-O-N, Saxon, nickname Sax. And this one's a Germanic name, meaning people of the dagger. Another S name on the list is the name Solar, spelled S-O-L-A-R. I love this as like a celestial sunny word name. Then we have the name Seeker, spelled S-E-E-K-E-R. Now these names here are just so bold, I'm loving it. And this one has a little bit of a mysterious meaning, meaning one who finds. I have a color name here next, is the name Cobalt, spelled C-O-B-A-L-T, Cobalt, nickname Kobe. And this one's a deep, rich blue color. Then speaking of blue, something very similar, it's the name Bluma, spelled B -L -L L-U-M-A, Bluma. I've honestly never heard this before, but it's a Yiddish originated name meaning flower. I have the name Elio, spelled E-L-L-I-O, or it could be Elio, whichever way you wanna go. And it's a variant from the Spanish name meaning sun. I have the name Paxson, spelled P-A-C-K-S-O-N, Paxson. It's mainly used and seen in Northern Ireland and the US, and it means son of Pax or son of Easter. Another celestial inspired name here, I have the name Galaxy, spelled G-A-L-A-X-I-E or a Y. And this one's another amazing celestial name referring to a huge cluster of stars, gas, and dust. Now for a name combo here. This is one of my favorites on my Instagram. It's the name Salix Nightingale, S-A-Y-L-I-X, Salix Nightingale. I thought this is just so cool. I actually love the name Salix and I would totally use it in a heartbeat if A, we we're having any more kids, which we aren't, and if we didn't have Zayla already. Salix, Zayla, I feel like it's very similar, but it's a modern take on a botanical name meaning songbird of the willow tree. Next up is the name Shaman, spelled S-H-A-M-A-N, Shaman. Now this one has just such a great positive energy of a meaning. It means a medicine man or a spirit healer. Next is the name Bohem, spelled B-O-H-E-M, Bohem. And this one means Bohemian. Then we have the name Xena, spelled X-E-N-A, Xena. It's Greek originated meaning guest, but it also is kind of famous because of Xena, the warrior princess. Another option here is the name Rocklin, spelled R-O-C-K-L-A-N. So instead of Lachlan, Rocklin. And this one's English originated, meaning rocky land. Now for another name combo here, guys, I love this one. It's the name Pippin Hayes, spelled P-I-P-P-I-N, Pippin Hayes, H-A-Y-E-S. I love Pippin, it's actually quite a vintage name, and it's a German and English nature combo, meaning awe-inspiring, hedged area. On the girl's side, I have the name Warina, spelled W-A-R-I-N-A, Warina. And it's an Arabic originated name, meaning unique. Then we have the name Azorin, spelled A-Z-O-R-E-N, Azorin. How cool, how edgy. And this one's derived from the name of a cluster of volcanic islands in Portugal. Next up, I have the name Cypher, spelled C-Y-P-H-E-R, Cypher. This one's another one that I am so obsessed with, and it means message written in secret code. Then for another name combo here, again, one from my Instagram I'm obsessed with. It's the name Xavia Foxrose, spelled Z-A-V-I-A, Xavia Foxrose, F-O-X-R-O-S-E. And this one's a mix of Arabic, animal, and nature elements, meaning bright house of animals and flowers. I have the name Zainan, spelled X-A-I-N-N-O-N, Zainan. I love this as opposed to Zane. Zainan with that X. Oh, I am so obsessed with it. It's derived from a Greek name meaning guest. Then we have the name Rocket. Spelled R O C K E T. I actually personally know a family friend, a little girl named Rocket, and I think it is the coolest name. I wish I thought of it before her, but I didn't, and her name is Rocket. Then we have the name Castle, spelled C A S T L E. Now, Castle, such a cool medieval Viking inspired name, and I had to put Castle right underneath Rocket because Rocket's brother's name is Castle. 
How cool. Next up is the name Affinity, spelled A-F-F-I-N-I-T-Y, Affinity. So this one's a modern virtue name symbolizing sympathy towards others. And speaking of virtue names, I have the name Courage, spelled C-O-U-R-A-G-E, Courage. And this one is so amazing and it's another word name representing bravery. Another option on the list here is the name Saber, spelled S-A-B-R-E or S-A-B-E-R, and has French origins meaning sword. Then for a fun name here. I have the name Lemon. It's spelled L-E-M-O-N. Lemon. A lot of you guys have been actually asking for a fruit or food inspired name here. Lemon. Add that one to your list. Another name combo here next, so gorgeous for a girl, is the name Viola Rin. It's spelled V-I-O-L-A and then Rin, R-Y-N, Viola Rin. And this one's a Welsh and floral name combo, meaning ruler of the violet flowers. A police inspired name here is the name Arizona. It's spelled A-R-I-Z-O-N-A, -A, Arizona. Guys, this is so amazing. It's a deserty place name with total summer vibes. Then for a twist on a Greek inspired name here, I have the name Zale. Zalethea, so Z-A-L-E-I-T-H-E-A, -E -E Zalethea. So this one's literally the Greek name Aletheia with a Z at the beginning, meaning truth. Another name combo next here that was submitted is the name Zoe Moon, and Zoe is X-O-E and then Moon, M-O-O-N, and this one means life of the moon. Okay, this next one here, I've actually been seeing it everywhere and everybody's been just loving it. So it's the name Calliope Vesper, C-A-L-L-I, O-P-E, Calliope, and then Vesper, V-E-S-P-E-R. I thought this one was super fun, and it's a mix of Greek mythology and Latin origins, meaning beautiful voice, underneath the evening stars. Next up on the list here, I have the name Zedekiah. So Z-E-D-E-K-I-A-H, Zedekiah. A lot of those I-A-H ending names here are totally trending. I haven't actually heard this one before. It was actually a name of a king and it's of Hebrew origins, meaning the Lord is just. I thought this was kind of cool. It's the name Cozy, so C-O-S-Y cozy. I think this is kind of cool. I don't know. I've just been loving it. It gives us warm and fuzzy feeling. Next up here that could totally fall into that adventure, explorer, wilder kind of vibe here is the name Odyssey. Spelled O-D-Y-S-S-E-Y. -S -S -E Odyssey. Maybe nickname Odie and it means a long wandering or voyage. Next to here, totally cool names that are kind of place inspired but kind of not really. You see what I mean? But it's the name Avenue, spelled A-V-E-N-U-E, Avenue. It's a type of a street, but it's also a Latin originated name, meaning hail or all bow to. Then another name that falls into an avenue kind of theme is the name City, spelled C-I-T-Y, City. And this one's a noun of place inspiration. Next up, another Z name. I have the name Zodi, spelled Z-O-D-I, Zodi. It's actually a celestial word name referring to the measurement of dust in the inner solar system. Zodi. All right, switching it up here. I also had to change my camera settings because we were going, like the sun was going down and we were going red there. Okay, on the list here, we have the name Marvel. Spelled M-A-R-V-E-L. Marvel. Such a cool word name meaning to be filled with wonder. Then we have the name Soul. Spelled S-O-U-L. Soul. I think this just gives such a great meaning. And again, just like dreamer or wonder, I feel like soul just gives off that really great spiritual omen. Really great and positive energy. Another S name here is the name Seattle, spelled S-E-A-T-T-L-E. -T -T -E. Now this is a total unusual place kind of city name, Seattle. Probably more so for a girl. I think it would be really cute. And this one is a city in Washington state in the U.S. Another name combo here next that was submitted is the name Zardin Renee, spelled Z-A-R-D-E-N, super spunky and edgy for a girl, and then Renee, R-E-N-E-E. -E. This pairing is such a great example of how you can really have a cool traditional name like Renee, but have this futuristic and almost modern feel with Zardin. And it's a mix of Arabic and French roots, meaning reborn of gold. We have another name combo here that she sent in. It's the name Ziola Blue, X-I-O-L-A and then Blue, B-L-U-E. I think this is so great. It's a great twist on Viola meaning violet blue. Might as well shoot in another name combo here. It's the name Summit Eloise, S-U-M-M-I-T, and then Eloise, E-L-O-U-I-S-E. -E. This is another wonderful example of Summit, 
edgy, really genderless, and then Eloise. Gives it a little bit of a feminine vintage flair. This could actually possibly be an honorary name maybe in her family because it is actually her daughter's name, which is so incredible. And it has old German and nature roots together, meaning famous warrior of the highest peak. A few more names here left on the list. I have the name Radix, spelled R-A-D-D-I-X, Radix. Now Cameron Diaz, she recently named her little girl Radix. I believe it was at the beginning of 2020 or in 2019 oh my gosh it's been so long but it's a latin originated name meaning root but it's also a slavic originated name meaning happy and willing next name here on the list is the name charm so c-h-a-r-m charm this was actually sent in by two of you and it's a super cute word name meaning giving delight Another name combo here next, mixing kind of a trendy name with something wowing and bold is the name Remy Sundance, R-E-M-Y, and then Sundance, S-U-N-D-A-N-C-E. Now, you did it so well. This is derived from both French and Latin origins together, meaning Sundance of the oarsman or saint. Name combo here next, I have the name Ruby Bliss, spelled R-U-B-Y, and then Bliss, B-L-I-S-S. -S. I love the flow I love the vibe of this ruby bliss it has a little bit of a vintage appeal and it means blissful and precious gemstone next on the list is the name Adira shine so a-d-i-r-a and then shine s-h-i-n-e Adira shine ah, such a beautiful name derived from both Hebrew and English words meaning shining strength everyone has been loving the name Rome r-o-m-e r-o-a-m so now I have the name Romer spelled r-o-a M-E-R, Romer. And this one's a word name, again, meaning to wander or to be free. And then that brings me to my very final name on the list here. I have the name Wyetta, spelled W-Y-E-T-T-A, Wyetta. And it's Old English originated, meaning war strength. I loved the vintage sound to it again, but it has this strong, powerful, bold meaning to it that oh, I just had to add it to the list. If you have any other modern bold names on your list, please leave them in the comments below. Or if you did choose a bold one-of-a-kind name for your little one also leave that in the comments below i would love to read those thank you guys so much for watching take care stay safe and i'll see you guys next sunday with another baby names list bye